Matthew 13, 22 to 23. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receive it. This is what happens. <laughs> A lot of people hearing the gospel, they are so happy because they are not told the truth. Some of us repented in tears because we had things to lose and we were ready to give them up. Today, they meet people on the street and ask them, do you know that Jesus loves you? And they say, yes. Do you know that God has a better plan for you? Yes. Are you seeing the death, the worst in the world? Yes. Do you know that there is a paradise prepared for everyone? The condition is that you have to believe in your heart and confess it with your mouth. And then you are saved. This is how a lot of people say this prayer after the man of God. And they are declared saved, born again. And they say, congratulations, you are born again. Is that how soldiers are recruited? Is that how nations recruit soldiers? Is that how? Look at verse 21. Yet he had not root in himself, but endure it for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. Look at what Paul said. Seeing the danger, this is what Paul practiced. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1, 4, and 5. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Paul did not go to these people with eloquence. He did not confuse them by telling them the moment you give your life to Christ, everything is going to be okay. Told them the truth.